Jackson University. This is your olive skin host, Manolis Tavrakis, as always. Got a got a special guest, some special guests here. Four young chaps from Loyola University, the Hollow Party. Want to introduce yourself, boys? How you doing, Manoli? Thank you for having us. I'm Drew. I'm 17 years old. I go to Loyola Blakefield. We're uh, we're all seniors here, and I'm really excited to be here today. Oh, right, boys, introduce yourself. Let's hear your names. Let's hear your names. Um, I'm Quinn. Um, I also go to Loyola, senior, 17. I'm a uh, I'm Dan. I'm 18 actually, and uh, I go to the same school as them. Senior, same deal. <laughs> I'm Andrew, 17, and everything you heard before is also valid for me. And I like Nickelback. Just kidding. No, I'm oh, like, nobody, yeah, nobody likes Nickelback. Why would you bring Nickelback into this? We're having a good day. Unbelievable. This is, this is a music Sorry, I was having such a good day. The semester's I'll over. Just, I'll just leave. Unbelievable. Oh Got to bring Shad into this. <laughs> Got to go ahead and bring Shad, Shad. into this. Unbelievable. Stuff. So, Levine's hot, so. so give us a little, let's, let's hear a little description of the Hollow Party. What kind of music do you boys play? Well, we play pop rock music. Our sound is relevant. Uh, our smiles are genuine, and uh, yeah, we're just a general great group of guys. We're from right here in Baltimore, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I think you'd like what you hear. So think you like what you hear? Yeah, absolutely. Now you used to be uh, all right deserved. Why do you switch? I know you switched over to the Hollow Party. Any any particular reasons for that? Um, mainly just because like like this past year, 2014 and 2015 has been like a really big transitional period for the band. We changed up our sound. We went to the rec uh, recording studio up in Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, on a farm the whole winter and just made a new EP that we're really hyped to release to the beginning of next year. And it was just really time for a, a big change, I guess. But still still the same four guys, still four best friends making music. So that's really the only thing that's changed about us. You didn't change your sound or anything? Did you uh, decide to change up what kind of music you're playing? Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Drew. Well, we used to be kind of a pop punk alternative type band, but now we're uh, we're trying to rebrand ourselves to fit a, a broader spectrum of the audience. So a little more pop. Okay, so that works out. So you um, you said you have a new so um, a new album coming out uh, beginning of January, right? Yes, Somewhere sir. around there, around EP. then. We got a name for it, or is it just the Hollow Party EP? I think it's just gonna be the Hollow Party. Yeah, as of now, yeah, self title. Right now. Self -title. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. You see a lot of intro EP. A lot of up and comer bands that see that. Same Hotel, they, they went with that. Nice little four song. Coleman. Uh, songs, any any of you guys have heard of Coleman Hell? Just released a six song. Oh, cool. A six song oh, wow. EP. Just yeah. a, lot, a lot of self title ones. Really good way to go about things. Uh, any. Any influences, really? We always like to start with that question here. Uh, well, all four of us really have, like, separate influences. I know that um, my biggest influence is probably the Foo Fighters and All Time Low, as, as it comes to, like, like recording. And the 1975, too, I love their guitar parts. So. Yeah, I mean, we've all got uh, different and similar interests. We all like the same bands, but we've got different different ones that come to the forefront. Uh, me, personally, I really like Death Cab for Cutie for their lyrical style mainly. Ben Gibbard, I think, is a genius. And uh, I love the Killers. So. Uh, I like a lot of um, Weezer, Pixies, because Frank Black is like a legend. <laughs> um, <laughs> lots of Chili Peppers. Flea is amazing, of course. Flea. Um, and yeah, that's about it. I really love uh, Yellow Card, and I'm really into Rush, and I'm, I'm a sucker for really good drummers, so I love Neil Peart, and uh, I really love um, uh, Benny Goodman and his band. I'm really into big band swing as well. Yeah, when you go, if, if you're a big if you're a big drumming fan, if you don't like Rush, there's probably something wrong with you. I don't I don't make the rules; <laughs> it's just how it goes. <laughs> uh, where do you with Ben Gibbard though? Have you uh, have you ever listened to his um how, what, what, the last solo album he put out? Um, I've listened to everything. So that's a yeah. <laughs> He's my. Idol. The one with uh, bigger than love. I don't. I've listened to that album probably over fifty times. Like, wow. first, I can't. Mean, his solo stuff, the Postal Service and Death Cab for Cutie. I have like seventy songs by him on my Spotify. So, <laughs> pretty much got it figured out. Yeah. <laughs> there ben some... Gibbert, Ben Gibbert, if you're if you're listening, I love you. What? He's like, I knew. He's like, I knew I should have listened it's, it's this like day. Like a force signal, like. <laughs> Seems to be a disturbance. Yeah. <laughs> He's like XTSR.org. Like it's <laughs> stuff. Uh, there was like I remember there was rumors like him and um <clears throat> pretty much like broken because who's it from Broken Bells? It's um Van from Vampire Weekend. Uh, it's the drummer bassist. No, it's the uh, singer of the Shins. Singer of the, sh and, the Shins. That's yeah, what it is. Uh, I forget his name. Um. He's awesome though. He's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, I was talking with someone a couple weeks ago about patiently waiting for a, like a death like Ben Gibber and like Ezra Koe gum. Collab sick. collab album. That's just like uh, the dream like of like any indie hype. Ever. <laughs> There's no way it could be bad. Like I don't 
that there's just not a chance that could be a bad album. Where did yeah. J. Cole and Kendrick coming out next year? There's just no way oh it could be bad. Oh my God. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> there's just not a shot it's going to be bad. Yeah, that's insane. Pretty much. Did you boys... <laughs> You, do you boys listen to some hip hop in your lives? Oh, Drew, yeah, Drew is a really we big. Listen, we listen rapper. to a lot of hip hop, oh, considering we I do a little rap. So you, there. Drew spits bars. So you heard yourself some uh, uh, the some Black Friday, Friday releases from Kendrick and J Cole. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> Pretty much just low key dropping that they're gonna have an album coming out. I think yeah. It was like Kendrick Lamar's sister. I think put out like February 18th, coming soon. And then she deleted it like five minutes later after realizing Ooh. she wasn't supposed to talk about Ooh. it. Wow. I'd, I'd like Future if I could understand him. I cannot. <laughs> I cannot hop on the Future hype. I think everyone I like loves Cheesecake. Future because you know it's cool to like Future. Can I guess mumble. Can I guess mumbles a lot. I'm not about it. No man, no man. <laughs> yo Metro, yo Metro, yo Metro. Right. Yeah, he's the next Shakespeare. I heard. <laughs> he's the next Future as the next Shakespeare. He's the future. I, I mean, literally. Once well, upon. He, he is Future. I'm, I'm joking, 100%, guys. I just, for the record, I'm. <laughs> so we uh we have a new song came out uh what was it over the summer Basic Girl? Yes, yes sir. We got a nice June. little cute. We got a. Uh, what are these things called? These square drums. Uh, cajon. We got a cajon. We got a yes, bass. In, we got a nice bass in here. Two acoustics. Do, can we, do we get to hear a little acoustic? Acoustics. Some acoustics. <laughs> Sorry, Quinn and I just like shot a glare. Is it billiards? <laughs> just, knew, just knew immediately what I did. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be. Oh god. Oh no. All right. There goes the we're good. And we're off. But um, yeah, we're gonna be playing a few songs for you. And we've so. got a surprise for you as well. Oh boy. At the very end. Oh man. Oh man. Peace. Can I can I get a hint? Pardon hmm? me. Can I get a hint? Sunglasses. Uh, it's all right. Say sunglasses. So your sunglasses. Hint, your hint. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> the hint. Is sunglasses. Yeah, if you can guess the brand Sponsors. by the end of the show, uh, you win a cookie from everyone. You can, you can tweet it at us at uh, <laughs> Manoli underscore Cannoli or yeah, at so the Hollow Party. I'm gonna turn my Twitter on so I can with, hear people with with one end. Yeah, Please, with, with one, one N. N. Cannoli with one N. Don't be funny. Yeah. Tweet us your suggestions. Yeah, Manoli, if it's cool with you, uh, I'm going to turn my Twitter on, and if anybody has any questions, hashtag XTSR. Woo! I'm all about it. Hashtag the Indie Mix. Right. Let's do that. The indie yeah, mix. Yeah, yeah, I like that. The indie hashtag mix. the Indie Mix. That's hashtag, fun. That's good. Hashtag the Indie Mix, and we will answer any of your questions. Any of them. We will be on. So go ahead and, so should we, should rock and roll. do that right Get, now. Go into playing a song? Yeah, let's, like, you know. let's start it off. All right, well, look, I think they know this one. All right, here we go. <laughs> so this is Basic Girl, or are we going something different here? Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do. Uh, no, we're gonna, what is this song called again? Uh, oh yeah, You're Three Thousand oh, by yeah, the Jonas yeah. Brothers. You are oh, listening boy. to Towson University Radio XTSR. The Indie Mix. <laughs> we're, we're playing Jonas Brothers today. One day, when I came home at lunchtime, I heard a funny noise. Went out to my backyard to find out if it was one of those ratty boys. He told me he built a time machine like one in a film I seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is doing fine, doing fine. He took me to the future in the flux thing, and I saw everything. Boy bands, and another one, and another one, and another one. Girls there with round hair, like Star Wars, float up on the floor. We drove around in a time machine, like, like what in a film I seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is doing fine. Doing fine. I took a trip to the year 3000. This song had gone multi platinum. Everybody bought a seventh album. Had I sold Michael Jackson I took a trip to the year 3000 This song had gone multi-platinum Everybody bought our seventh album Seventh album We drove around in a time 
my machine like Wally to fill my scene. Yeah, yeah. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter, he's doing fine. Doing fine. He said, I've been to the year 3000. Not much has changed, but they lived underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is doing fine. Doing fine. <laughs> he said, I've been to the year 3000. Well, for being honest here, I wasn't expecting a Jonas Brothers, but that was lit. Good work, boys. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I only got heard that. I cannot remember the last time I heard that song. Yo, Flying. Take, a- take the auto tune off, and it's not an awful song. <laughs> it's only kind of bad. I think the last time I heard that song, I was like 10 years old in a flight, and they had like built-in radios. Back in my and you know you rocked with Disney radio when Disney you were a kid. Ra- that was the only radio. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that has to be the last time I heard it. I don't know, you guys killed that. Good work. Thank oh, you, man. Thank you. Oh my lord! So, so we d- definitely, so we got a little, a bit of a broad spectrum here for your covers. We got a definitely a broad spectrum when it comes to the types of music you I like. Think so, yeah, absolutely. So let's go deeper. Besides the music, let's find out who the Hollow Party really is. What is life? I'm not about to do that. What, what is? Oh, music? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh no! Well, good show, guys. All right, see you next week. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Take care. But Nolly, I don't, I don't know if your viewers know this, but you and I are cousins. Are so you? That's cool. I'm Andrew. I've, I've never Hi. met you before. Oh, re- oh. This my f- oh. My bad. Oh. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm... Word. You guys aren't actually it... cousins. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Only Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we are technically... Me, me and the... Adoption uh... is a bond that goes beyond blood. Oh, wait, 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 what? Family, not adoption. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, my days. I'm stop talking. All right. So, yeah, Andrew, Andrew Vidalcy, a cousin of mine. I've been, been hearing your music since you, you guys were all, all, all younger ones. We actually have a, new, a newer addition to the band since the last time I saw you played. How you doing, friend? Hey. New, new, newest addition to the yes, All Rights Reserved yes. slash Hollow Party slash I joined, band. Um, sophomore year, which was like two years ago. Um, how it happened was, um, I was playing water polo with Drew over here, Lit. and um, uh, on good old JV, and uh, <laughs> we had we were locker neighbors. High stake stuff. Yeah, we were locker neighbors, and um, it was like middle of October, and um, he was like. Hey, uh, we need another, like, bass player, like, because our bass player can't make it. Do you want to, like, play? And I was like, um, absolutely, yes. <laughs> so I played I played one gig as a bass player, and then they were like, um, well, we kind of still want you here, so can you please play guitar for us? And then they found out I could sing. So that was, like, a really nice addition, of course, and uh, now we're here. Basically, Quinn's sick. <laughs> Basically, Thank you. I'm pretty healthy though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be here all week. I can appreciate dad jokes. I really can. <laughs> so we've definitely already heard some uh, some clear like, how do we put it? Uh, what's the word? Um, this is fun. This Bubble is fun. Gum? Bubble gum. Yeah. Bubble gum in a dish. <laughs> all right. So we know this is a uh, this is the indie mix. So we're gonna we're gonna take it back a little bit. And, uh, and nice. play some alternative. A little throwback Tuesday? Yeah, a little throwback to 1979. <laughs> ah. Here we go. Oh, that's right. clever. All right. Whenever you boys are ready. What song are you playing here? You'll see. One, oh, boy. Two, three, four. Shakedown 1979. Cool kids never have a time On a live wire right up off the street You and I should meet June bug skipping like a stone With the headlights pointed at the dawn Sure, we never seen an end to it all. And I don't even care to shake these zipper blues. And we don't know. 
home Just where our bones will rest to dust, I guess Forgotten and us all To the earth below Double cross, vacant and the board Then I chose what we have in store Morphine city slipping dues down to sea that we don't even care as restless as we are we feel the pull in the land of a thousand gales and board some men lamented and assured to the lights Never knew the rules Hung down with the freaks and ghouls No apologies ever need be made I know you better than you fake it to see That we don't even Take these zip of blues And we don't know Just where our bones will rest It does, I guess Forgotten and absorbed To the earth below Street heats the urgency of now As you see, there's no one around. Oh boy. Good looks, guys. Good looks. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are killing the cover game right now. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Let's man. wait till the originals roll around. Oh boy. Just a, just a reminder, though, we have a show on January 16th, a Saturday night. We will be playing the Baltimore Soundstage with bands such as uh, Silent Society, Clear for Takeoff, and Parallel Heights. That show starts at 7 a.m. You can Take, get tickets 7 from p.m. 7 Ticket, p.m. Tickets not have, in the morning. Tickets yeah. have got to be the triple digits for this show. No, 10 bucks. Oh, boy, 10 bucks, guys. You can get them from guys, any of us. Guys, hop on this. If you know them, get the Loyola, get the Loyola uh, not university, high school. Grab some tickets. Get some tickets at the door. Get some tickets ahead of time. Get some tickets for your friends. Great stocking stuffers. <laughs> Great stocking stuffers. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Yeah, shout us out on Twitter, and we will deliver them straight to your door. Yeah. I'm serious. Maybe. And DM us on Instagram, too. And Facebook. We're all about sliding into DMs here. If you can somehow find my email, like, go for that, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but what's your pager numbers? That's the real question. Oh. Do you want I my social security? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if we can get some social security going, <laughs> we'll have a walk. Let's just add to it. 666 well, 1738. Oh, my. Quinn. Little do we know Fetty Wap's actually coming on. Oh. Yeah. It's awesome. But... Uh, but but nah, he, he canceled. I'm uh, sorry guys. I, I know you're supposed to come. For us. Oh, he actually did, ironically, Fetty Wap did cancel Towson already, but he's oh, playing in wow. January. It's it's fine. We'll, we'll we'll move past it. Speaking of Twitter, we actually have a few uh, people that have hashtagged the Indians. Just saw that. I was about to mention that to you. Uh, so here we go. Uh, Andrew Vandellis, uh. hashtag <laughs> the Indie Mix. We're live. X <laughs> X T S R T or X T S R Towson. Who's Andrew Vandellis? Um, I'm not Who's sure. I think he's some. <laughs> Is he in the building right now? I think he's a fanboy. Oh, he's right here. Uh, he's Andrew, he's, he's actually playing guitar. I'm doing good. <laughs> well, actually. Yeah. Vanessa <laughs> says, yeah. who started the band and who came up with the name? Well, back in 2008, I met Drew Bostwick. Uh, our dads are really good friends, and we went to a summer camp called Rock, Sh Rock Shop or something like Rock that. Rock Shop. That's over correct. at uh, the friend school and then mm -hmm. later McDonough. And, uh, yeah, one day we just were like, hey, let's start a band. Okay, cool. And from there, we uh, met Danny. Drew can tell that story. Oh, yeah. So we, uh, so Danny was just a cool cat that was floating around the uh, back in the sixth grade. And, getting uh, chicks. Yeah. Get, and, um, getting chicks. Andrew Adeline was just, Bay Blades. 
Exactly, and bassists are not a dime a dozen, mm -mm. especially around here in Baltimore. It's it's really they're really hard to find. So uh, Danny was a kid that we knew played bass. So we uh, confronted him in the locker room. <laughs> And said, we bullied hey, him into it. I exactly. don't beat the hell out of him and then told him, congrats, you're in the band. Yeah. And uh, and it kind of just went from there. And Quinn, do you want to talk about our name? Um, yeah, so um, since we have a brand new sound, uh, actually since we recorded last winter, I believe, um, we were first All Rights Reserved. And then um, since we just got a brand new sound, we recorded a brand new EP with six songs and... Since we used to be like pop punk, now we're like pop rock, like radio style, and um, then we just decided we need a new name, and a lot of other bands have all rights reserved, so we needed something original and also attractive um, to, you know, what people want to hear and see on the internet. I yeah, that sound I mean, was. <laughs> picking a band name was so incredibly hard. It took us six months. We did go through like... We, yeah. went, we went through, we played we went, like three shows with different names. Yeah. What are some, what are, what are some of these names? Yeah. What, are, what are these unanimous should, names? Should we, should we share the, the very uh, the uh, bad, infamous the bad, the one? I want to hear the best one and the worst one, if we're being honest. Oh, Drew, tell them. I don't, okay, don't so want to say it. We had, uh, we had a couple of Uvu chats, and we were discussing, <laughs> we were discussing what, what names would, uh, would fit our criteria. So it had to sound cool. It had to be uh, it had to be relevant to all of us, and it had to be it had to mean something to us. So we uh, we came up with a few, um, pretty much all related to our school, and uh, one of them was should I should I drop it? Drop it. All right. So we had a uh, so our last year's pep rally. I'm getting queasy. We had a uh, yeah. All right, I haven't even dropped it. <laughs> getting queasy. Last year's pep rally, they had a huge bonfire, and our mascot is the Don, and we. Oh, I wasn't talking about. Oh, that one, but that one's oh, a good really? one too. Oh, uh, we called it the, Don the acronym. One. Uh, it was called the Don Fire, and we almost named our band the Don Fire. Oh, <laughs> thank you, do you another acronym. Mm -hmm. All right, Danny, the one me. we stuck with for a little bit. Danny. Oh yeah, we what? played one show we as this oh, other yeah. one. We played a, a we played a prom. NDPs. Or an after yeah, we played an after prom as shout out to NDP. The fine young gentleman, which <laughs> like, our uh, our producer. Oh wow. Uh, the guy the guy who helped us produce our uh, EP. It shout was out his idea, Neil. and we were like, at first we were all like. No, that's a terrible name. And then he kept talking about it, and he's like a he was a pretty he's a pretty persuasive guy. So <laughs> we kind of warmed up to it a little bit, and we were like, all right, that's not bad. And he was like, trust me, guys, it'll work. We played one show with it, and we were like, uh -uh. we hate this name. It was almost like embarrassing. People would be like, what's your band name? And we'd be like, uh, <coughs> funny gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> it's so f okay. So now that that's cleared the air, I remember. It, okay, I guess it was, what was this, like six, seven months? It was a while ago, like a little, yeah, probably like around not, half a year ago. Yeah. It was May, May 20, no, May 15th. Calculating. We played the after prom. Uh, Thanks, Dan. I remember, <laughs> I remember all dates, <laughs> ever. I remember <laughs> seeing, um, I think it was either you, hmm? it was either Andrew or the actual, like, All Rights Reserve, the previous Twitter account, but I remember seeing um something about fine young gents, and I just sat there <laughs> thinking, I'm like, I'm not about it. Like, I, like and then so, not many people. And then you know, like, I'm not. A, so I'm glad you guys aren't too big of a fan of it either. But I remember, I thought it was gonna be your. Uh, I thought that was actually gonna be the album name when oh, you guys released the, the yeah, Hollow Party. Not too yeah. bad. That's what yeah, I. It's not awful. That's what I thought was gonna happen, and I, I can I can dig the the Hollow Party EP though. Mm -hmm. It's very you gotta keep it simple, gotta keep it low key. Absolutely. One thing that's not low key though, Star Wars. Oh my God! It's coming out Don't Friday, get me started, boys. Dude. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so angry. Wait, what happened? I have a track meet and Yo, I can't see it. So, so skip. Don Boy Friday. Yeah. It's not like There's... they only have one. Towson Cinemark. Yeah, no, it's... Yeah, yeah. no, no, this is very important. You gotta you you skip premiere. You skip uh, track meets for yeah. for premiere you know, Star Wars. You know, I'll even practice. I'll even tolerate. <laughs> oh no, you don't skip brand practice. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. Who would do that? I'll even tolerate the prequels. I don't know why, but I will. You can. You can leave. You can leave now. Like uh, I don't Star like Wars them. Good Star Wars. The, the the prequels though, come on, yes, man. Yes, all of them are amazing. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, True. he's the man, and you're the worst. Okay. Excuse me. We we got <laughs> we we got another question. Although I'm still. I don't know if I want to hear these questions, guys. I don't know if I can. I don't know if we can finish the show right now. You're saying Jar Jar Binks this, is the man. This, this will hopefully be Jar Jar a quick Binks one. Jar Jar Binks is the worst thing to happen in the Star Wars in literally the entire world. We got it, guys. Right. You don't understand. Jar Jar Binks. Oh my God. He has like a huge, Blinks? huge Blink. plot. Like he's part of the plot. He's a Sith. Ugh. 
No, you right, we're going that? to Andrew's question. I'm, uh, this I'm done right. with this now. Right. We're officially done with Twinkle this. Twinkle Toes at Ashton Irwy oh says, Classic. hashtag the indie mix, <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite song at the moment? Is his name really Twinkle Drew, Toes? do you want to start? Wait, was his name no, really Twinkle Toes? Toes? Twinkle I'm Toes was the name of the account. Okay, right respect. Now. All right, um, Manoli, what's your favorite song? What's my favorite? Uh, the, 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 the interviewer moment. has All become the interviewed. At the moment, what is your favorite song? Right now. Probably it's a, it's a, it's a low key song. It's called uh, "Empress" by Morningsiders. I actually wow. closed the first show I did I did with that song. Huh. It's like some like low. It's like some like really small Ohio like folk band, but it's like real real upbeat song. It gets it gets you going, makes you real happy, it makes you think about girlfriends you never had. Mm. Hmm. Anyone else? Anyone else? Um, Anyone else listen to music ever? Uh, <laughs> nah, I man. Mean, when I do, it's don't say it, don't say the band. <laughs> no. No, no, no. You're terribly wrong. I, I don't listen to music, right. but what I do. My favorite songs right now are um, probably Everywhere I Go by New Politics or uh, Monkey's Gone to Heaven by Pixies. Hmm. I didn't listen to New Politics. I remember I was really into New Politics and then uh, Harlem just blew up on the radio. And whenever I was at work, because we only had like radio there. The only like good stations we could get for some reason because the antenna was just real messed up was like 1065 and 1043. Yeah. And damn it, they brutal, they brutal butcher. That's what I'm looking yeah, for. Brutal. They brutally butchered uh, Harlem by New Politics. I just haven't listened to them since then. Ouch. No, but New Politics has a brand new album. Like, well, it's not brand new. It was August, but um, it's new enough. It's it's called Vikings. I yeah, it's called yeah. Vikings. It's so good. I listen like to, I like so many songs off that album. They had like a four was like a four or five song EP before that. Like yeah, yeah, like yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. Where any did they have like any of their songs on the on the new album or was it all new songs? Um This the Vikings is brand new. They had they have a few albums actually. But um yeah, no, Vikings is brand new. Okay. Hmm. It's really good. Um, right now I'm obsessed with this song. Uh, if you guys know the Counting Crows, yeah. uh, you know Mr. Jones. The album is called August and Everything After. Mm -hmm. After, mm -hmm. and that's actually a song, but they didn't put it on the album. Mm -hmm. And the album cover is lyrics from the song. So I, what is this? So I looked what it up. It's actually a song. They've only played it like three times ever, but they play it live, and it's like this seven-minute song where it's basically just him singing and a piano. And I love it, and it's amazing, and I'm obsessed huh. with it right now. So, but I can't find it anywhere on Spotify. Uh. Or anything, so I have to go to YouTube and physically like waste my data and like <laughs> listen to the song, and it's like a seven-minute song. It's so worth I'm it like, though. Oh, but it's so good. It's your favorite so, song. We all yeah, know it's right now. <clears throat> well, right now I've been um, I've been really getting into the story so far. Uh, they're so good. pop punk band from uh from <clears throat> California, and they have this uh they have this album like the. They're one of those. They have one of those albums that like every song on the album is listenable, and uh, it's called "What You Don't See." That whole album is just fantastic, and I've been getting into that a lot. So yeah. Is yeah. there any like songs like off there that you like like you go you're like that first one that you know? You oh go my to? gosh! All right, so if I'm, all right, let me think. So if you really want a, a song that you can like bang your head to, uh, I think <laughs> get the, really angry. Like it, it, this song literally Stop makes, fights you, for no makes you ball up your fists and think about everyone like in your past. And it, it's called, yeah, it's called the Galactic. Once again, the ex-girlfriends yeah. you never had. And then, <laughs> and then like if you're driving, you immediately feel your like your foot just pressing down the gas harder as oh you're boy. listening uh -oh. to it. It's called the, so if you're driving, don't listen to this song. It's called the glass. Um, and then if you want a song that just like, you can just like listen to it's easy to listen to and you can balance to it. it's called empty space so that's a really good song oh i love that song yeah it's a fantastic um song. uh like my favorite album I'm, i've been saying this is like album of the year since like when it came out i really like blurry face by 21 pilots yeah. that like and especially the song i'm really into the song um message man and the judge are my two favorite songs which are like two really underdog songs and then i'm also into like the 1975's new release they have a song called ug out just call it UG. Capital U G H apostrophe. <laughs> Not yeah. Exclamation. They, they, called they, UG, and it's really so it's really aloof. groovy. They're trying so hard to be Hipster. underground. Yeah. No, but like when I saw them though, I saw them oh. like <laughs> We're gonna release our we're gonna release our concert tickets yeah. for one like minute and then <laughs> <laughs> while we were at Firefly. Wait, but I really saw do, them. Did they really do yeah, that? Yeah, they did. Are you kidding me? They put on a pre-sale back in like June for shows in like January. But I managed to snag bucks. tickets for like forty bucks. <laughs> And I saw them in Philly, and I got to hear, like, some of their new album, and I think they're just releasing the weird ones, because, like, the rest oh, of the... Man. No, the rest of the album that they... <laughs> <laughs> that at least they played. <laughs> True. Jeez. But 
Um, the rest of that album that they played, it sounded pretty similar to their old stuff. Not really. we're, we're not a pop band. We're not a pop band. We're no. not a pop we go shortly. Oh, oh, oh. Say no. Oh, my uh, I mean, I made fun of them, but I still, I still I like them. Yeah, I like some select band. songs. I select. Saw that, I saw them <laughs> play, like, what was it? I guess, two, yeah, it's been about two years now. They played oh, with, wow. uh, it was 20 on Pilots and <gasps> they dual headlined. They had uh, Rams said 20 on Pilots and, um, 1975. I but, 1975 was like, oh, stop it. <laughs> that was like, right, that was like in their peak of chocolate. Like, that's when chocolate was like the shiz biz. And that's when they officially, like, you're not allowed to be underground once you get a song that blows up on, on like, yeah, they probably pop on like Mix 106. Once you get a song that plays on Mix 106.5, you're pretty much done being underground. Like, you're, like, no matter how hard you try, it's, you're... it's not about the pop music, though. It's about. <laughs> that's just, like he gets so, like, philosophical in interviews. It was like... you know those, those girls on 106.5 that. Only listen to the music and like it because it's on 106.5. <laughs> like, my sister did that for a really long time when I was in middle school and I had to ride to school every day with her. And How did you survive? I'm dead right now. I didn't. Oh. It shout was, out XTSR. It was, <laughs> shout out XTSR. <laughs> we love you. Shout out any mix. Rock and roll. All no, right. but it was funny though. Like, then, that was when, like, um, that was when, like, 20 Pilots was still pretty, like, that was like after, that was the same year like they played Sweet Life and they were like the lowest line they were like bottom two for Firefly. Was like, that they before were, Vessel came out? This is like Vessel. I think May of that year. Okay. They play. I think they played um Sweet Life like the same month as it got released. Smelling hats over there. Uh, I can explain. <laughs> <laughs> I can explain. Uh, we're really weird. Yeah. <laughs> no, but like that was like it was like most majority of the people that were there. Oh, I thought someone was knocking. <laughs> and that was me on my drum. Damn it. I don't want to work. Do do? I just want to bang on the drum all day. What are you doing, man? No, but like 19, uh, 1975 was definitely the bigger band there, but they didn't play first, which is odd. Yeah, this this next song like that we're going to play, uh, by the way, this is the the big reveal, I guess. Oh, yeah. We're, we're we going to be dropping. A, hang on, yeah, real quick. It. We have a question from Twitter. Oh. Uh, Irati from uh, the Quinn's Foot <laughs> Street Team. Yes, Quinn's uh, Foot. Yes, Quinn's Foot has a fan account. account. Did street Team? Uh, Did you say sure. Street Team? Street Teams, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she says, will you guys drop a new single before the EP is out? And the answer is yes. And it is called Ray-Bans. And... Is that the sunglasses hint? Yes, that was the sunglasses hint. It's called Ray-Bans. And, uh, this riff was pretty much inspired by girls, I guess. When Don't say I was that. thinking of it, but... All right. I hate the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. All right, here we go. All right, let's go. Is she an actress or a poet or a fashionista girl? Maybe she's a movie star, she's classy like a pearl. I want to see her, I want to meet her. Everybody wants to know her cause she looks so cool with the Ravens on. She yawns at night No lens can hide the light She's got the magic moment And everybody knows, everybody knows Whoa. Step back, she's gonna shine She never has to hide No crap, she can't deny Cause she looks so cool with the Ravens on She's had a once to touch her But I'm scared I might get burned She's moving through the room like she's the owner of the world I want to know her, I want to see her Nobody can ever beat her cause she looks so cool with the Ray-Bans on Step back, she owns the night, no lens can hide the light She's got the magic moment, everybody knows, everybody knows Whoa. Step back, she's gonna shine, she never has to hide No crime she can't deny, cause she looks so cool with the Ravens on She takes control of what she sees She's what every girl wants to be Makes my heart skip a beat Wonder if she looks at me But I can't see past her disguise What's behind those tinted eyes Couldn't get her if I try Cause she looks so cool with the ray on 
she looks so cool with the Ray-Bans on. Step back, she owns the night. No legs can hide the light. She's got that magic moment. Everybody knows, everybody knows. Step back, she's gonna shine. She never has to hide. No crime she can't deny Cause she looks so cool with the Ray-Bans on Step back, she owns the night No lens can hide the light She's got the magic moment And everybody knows, everybody knows Step back, she's gonna shine She never has to hide No crime she can't deny Cause she looks so cool with the Ray-Bans on our new single that will be coming out very soon Ray Bands heard first on XTSR the indie mix hashtag exclusive hashtag indie indie mix mix. hashtag 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 Manoli Cannoli hashtag at Manoli Cannoli (laughs) follow him and follow us (laughs) at at the the hollow Hollow party Party. (laughs) nice synchronization there good work thank you very much so I'm looking at the Twitter feed right now we looks like I got another question from I'm gonna go with the name's Bella it says Bella loves Collins I'm gonna assume her name's Bella Uh, what inspired (laughs) y'all to play the instruments y'all play we can go, get a little roll call going down the line here. All right. Well, my name is Drew, and I uh, I started playing drums thanks to my dad. He, uh, we see, we've always been a drummer family. My dad, um, he never took lessons, but he always loved to play. Uh, his first song that he learned to play was uh, "More Than a Feeling" by Boston, and uh, mm. he always used to play. And I was inspired by him to play drums. But um, in addition to that, my grandfather. Um, play drums uh, on a radio show. He as well uh, did radio like you, Manoli. He okay. was, uh, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Joe company. Knight, the Knight of the Spinning Round Table. He Wait, was, I uh, actually think I do know Joe. I think I learned about him in a class. We're being completely honest. Yeah, he was uh, he was Baltimore's biggest DJ back in the uh, back in the 50s. So uh, awesome. I, I'm almost 99% sure I learned about Joe Knight when I was at Hartford Community College taking a class on uh, radio and broadcasting. That is awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, I play guitar. I'm Quinn. Um, what inspired me, well, music altogether, um, my dad used to make me, like, these, um, mixtapes, if you will, of, like, like, a bunch of, like, songs that are popular, like, when you listen to rock, like, Weezer, Led Zeppelin, uh, Van Halen, all that stuff, and you just, like, put it into one big CD, and what got me really into music, the song that I love the most um buddy holly by weezer i used to like be in my room in my underwear and like do air guitar when i was like eight (laughs) and um then when i was like 10 um uh my dad um, my dad had a guitar that my mom gave to him and he never learned how to play it so he was like um you want this guitar i was like absolutely but i had no idea how to play it but i would like wake up early in the morning and then just like sit on the couch and like hold it and pretend I knew how to play it. <laughs> but, sounds like, so it sounds like me now, but... Yeah, and then I would go to, like, guitar lessons and play Hot Cross Buns, I'd be like, this sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, then, and then I learned how to do power chords, and I was like, all right, this is pretty cool. <laughs> this is all right. <laughs> That's funny to say Buddy Holly. I remember um, All Rights Reserve show years ago, you guys played oh, Buddy Holly, and I got oh, really boy. hyped, because it's, it's probably my favorite Weezer song, at least oh, top, definitely top three. Top three. Yeah, uh... Top three. I'm Danny. <laughs> 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 top three. I, uh, I'm the the bass guy. Uh, <laughs> the bass guy. <laughs> well, I don't know. Someone told me you're not allowed to say bassist, and I feel like bass player just sounds weird, so I'm the bass guy. Um, Hashtag, you're, yes. you're definitely Hashtag bass bassist. guy. Mm, I, I don't like, know. I like bass guy better. I, I can dig bass guy, though. Bass god. Bass god. Yeah, I got <laughs> into... I actually... I got into bass because my older Shout brother... My older brother's a bassist. He's in a band in College Park. Um, They're called Bear Left. Check those guys out. They're very good. They have a flute, so they're cool. Oh man, um, Ian yeah. Anderson. <laughs> yeah, uh, but my my brother, he's uh he's 21 now. I when I was younger, I I did everything that he did. He, he was my older brother, and I would copy him in every possible way. So uh, when it was fourth grade, and they were like, you you got to play an instrument in school. I was like, well, what did my brother do? And he played he played bass, and then uh, started playing electric bass. And uh, he was in middle school at the time, and uh, so I was like, 
I want to play electric bass. And they told me, you can't do that. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean I can't do that? Like, gonna, <laughs> what do you mean I can't I'm, do that? I'm going to do I'm whatever Daniel I want. Daniel Peter Vinton. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Peter. And uh, <laughs> so, so they were like, all right, just play, play the upright bass first, and then you can play the electric bass. And I was like, I don't like this, but I'll do it. And then my brother kind of started teaching me electric bass. And then after, uh, in fifth grade, I started taking lessons for bass. And uh, that's kind of where that went. And so now we kind of, we have bass, bass offs occasionally. Bass offs. Yeah. Bass off. I am Andrew. I play guitar. And uh, the reason, I, <laughs> that's it. Um, no, the reason I got into playing guitar, um, at first, I saw my father, shout out to Manny, uh, try to learn a guitar. Uh how to play it and um he had like this really crappy fire that he bought and this fender amp and um really i i my first like image of playing guitar is like is like um really just like seeing him in our old house playing it and just trying to play uh rock you like a hurricane <laughs> and miserably miserably failing but of course i look up to my dad and i'm like this is pretty cool shout out to All right. Manuel. yeah shout out to Manuel vandalis <laughs> andrew and um so, uh, but the, <laughs> but the first like real guitarist I got into was, um, Eddie Van Halen and Eddie Van Halen still to this day is like one of my favorites. It's a pretty and good I, one to get started and, with. And I really like Jack White too. Jack White is just an innovative genius. Jack White is literally like the per, like if we were in like a fifties, like he'd be the guy like with a leather coat and a switchblade ready to go by jukebox. If, exactly. if you like, don't that would 100% know, be Jack White. And just saying, if you don't know who Jack White is, to, Please look him up. He is He's the awesome. future of rock and roll. If you've heard future, seven, yeah. eight, if... he is two thousand. He is when you think when people are gonna look back and think two thousand ten rock and roll, they're gonna think Jack White. Yeah, the two, song and the seven, song that goes like this. Seven Nation Army's that, by that the is White Jack White. He wrote that. That's his. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. He, he's rocking this. I'm I'm all about his Jack, solo Jack, stuff. Jack White, I love. I honestly him. like his solo stuff. I think more than oh my god, I, uh, yeah. I like most of his solo stuff more than awesome. uh, god, yeah. the White Stripe stuff. Honestly, like some of the White Stripe, that Black Bat so Licorice, oh, such a good song. Icky Thumb, Icky Thumb, Thumb might be my favorite song. song though. Sixteen Saltines, wow. Wow. Freedom at Twenty One, <laughs> Lazaretto, Lazaretto, Lazaretto. Awesome. Um, Blunderbuss is probably my favorite song mm, by him. Really? If I had to pick a, I love that. Oh, wow. my, it's just so slow compared to the rest of the songs. Um, One More Drink is definitely my favorite song off his uh the latest album. Was it Lazaretto's his latest one, right? Yeah, yeah. I keep he's taking bugged. a break now. Is like he really from the really solo stuff. But he has another band called The Dead Weather. But it's like I, I saw that. and I really rich. don't care. I wasn't. Yeah, really exactly. Rich. I, don't I couldn't care. get into it. But he's like, a big boy. apparently, I wonder the Raccoon Tours album. Hi-key. Oh my god. Um, but apparently, this is just a story I read on like Facebook that um everything on Facebook <laughs> is true. That uh, right. and there was a picture too. It was like because the family who saw him posted an Instagram photo with it. They were having like a neighborhood barbecue down in like Nashville. And the neighbors just did not know who he was. And they just invited him over. They're that's like, come over, sir. And they spent the whole time not knowing Could who he was. Could you imagine being the one guy that, like, knows you? Like, imagine one of us just sitting there. You can see Jack White. We're like, what the hell? And everyone's like, what do you mean? It's our neighbor. I would and I'm cry. like, like, freak. <laughs> like, I'd, be, I'd probably explode on the inside. Yeah. There was, um. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Jack White, there was some. Uh, did you guys, any, any of you, any of you children listen to the Black Keys? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you hear? Them. Please tell me you heard about the beat between Jack White and uh. Was Dan Auerbach? Or... Wait, can someone tell me about that? There I was. I can't remember if it was Dan or. I can't or the remember which member. I think it might have been the drummer. It was a drummer, I think. Yeah. Um, who's not? Who, I, I don't, really. I don't. Anyone know? Him. Anyone know his name? I only know Dan because <laughs> I, I don't Dan know. Dan Aykroyd? Yeah, no, that's an actor. Yeah. Never mind. Dan, Dan Aykroyd. No, his name is Dan. Uh, he's used <laughs> I think it's Auerbach. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Auerbach. He's a. Uh, Tell me about we'll get that to him piece. a little bit. Now, he, uh, apparently, uh, the drummer from Black Keys was in a bar in New York. I think it was in New York City. And Jack White, like, walked in. I think they, like, said something to each other. I think Jack White might have, like, spit some trash at him. I don't know. This is, said, he, says, he said something. <laughs> oh, my. You suck! He said something to him, and he got really mad and stormed off, and then he started tweeting about it. He started tweeting Jack about White it. did or the drummer? No, the drummer did. And then Jack Twitter White called. turned to Twitter fingers. Literally, True. Jack White then went on a radio. Uh, I think he went on the radio. He might have honestly posted something on like the website saying how like he, they literally like got into an argument and he ran and he stormed out of the place and then he started tweeting like half the stuff wasn't happening. Like Dan was like, or not Dan, uh, the drummer kept, was Whatever. like calling Jack White like a bully on Twitter or something like that. Really? Like <laughs> this real childish. Yeah. Stuff. Like you're not making yourself you hurt my good feelings. Apologize. Leave me alone, you bully. Like pretty <laughs> much. Give me your lunch exa- money. That's exactly like what it was. Wow. <laughs> And then I'm gonna <laughs> give me your lunch money. <laughs> Jack White comes Jack up White to you and says, back. "Give me your lunch money. What do you do? <laughs> you give him the lunch money. Exactly. You smile when you thank him. Him. You, you thank him for giving, like, having you the thank privilege. him for allowing you 
to like give him money. I'd love to be. I'd love to get my lunch money taken from Jack White. For being honest, that'd be a, li- that'd be a great story. Jack White. Awesome. Meanwhile, Dan. Now Dan, the other one that we actually know, Dan is uh, producing the new Cage the Elephant album. And, I'm pretty and, hyped for that. I'm like, I'm not. I, I'm not about it. I don't really? think. Really? Which one? Oh, the, the, the new Cage the Elephant. Being tell me I'm pretty. Dan. Tell me I'm pretty. Like. They released three singles, I think, already. Yeah. Trouble's the only one that sounded like Cage the Elephant. The other two, like, I can get it. Like, at first, I'm not a huge Black Keys person, but it sounds mm-hmm. like a Black Keys album. I was really hoping for something like Melophobia, which was absolute. Melophobia was the best yeah, album. 20... Was Back Melophobia. in oh, my, 2013, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. that had to have been the out. Like, Cage, sh- like, took all their other albums, and they were like, yeah, this is who we are. And I don't like to talk about awesome. Happy Birthday. I don't like to talk about Happy Birthday. That album was so bad. Yeah. I loved, the, I loved a songs. couple songs. Off that. So like the, their first song, what's it called? Uh, uh, In One Ear is oh my, my favorite Cage the Elephant. Isn't that song. All f- that's all the first, first album. album. Oh, yeah. I thought that was Thank You. No, for that's off the first no. album. No. It's the opening Sorry. track. Thank yeah. You for Birthday is Shake Me Down that, that, and Saber Tooth Tiger. And Aberdeen. That, that was it. Aberdeen. Uh, Aberdeen, yeah. Those those Aberdeen was, I was the big, I wasn't a big fan of Aberdeen. 2024 is an awesome I, I like, I like like three or four songs off that album, but the whole first album was good. And then all of Melphobia. They're all. They're on a. They're on a they're, I'm right. If I. If I. I don't think this. I don't think Tell Me I'm Pretty is gonna be that hot. They're going on a on a hot album, cold album, hot album, cold album. Really. So yeah. on the bright side, we have a, a lot of people. If, if this is bad, we have three years to look forward to another Casey Elephant album that's gonna be fire. I guess so. True. <laughs> uh, 2019. Speaking of fire, we've got one more song for everybody. Yeah. Before we sign off. And, oh man. And we got ten more minutes. Yeah. Ten. We got. Yeah. We've got ten We're more good. minutes. We're gonna go over a little because I yeah. do. I, I, I'm the captain now. I do what I want here. <laughs> Dan, do you want to like tell people what what the song is and stuff? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you know our band, you know this song for sure. It's uh, <laughs> the first song that we've released. Li- the only song that we've released as the Hollow Party. It's technically called, uh, speaking. Technically. There's two songs now. All right. Well, that, <laughs> that we have on like, roll Ray, man. that we have, which you can get on iTunes and Spotify and SoundCloud there we and go. all of that great stuff. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you should. All right. That, you're in the room. Was yeah, that was very priceless. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Thomas Sanders at you. <laughs> yeah, Thomas but um, minor. yeah, you can you can get this song on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, uh, Amazon Music. Because that's the thing. Yeah, pretty much. The song is called Basic Girl. Quick update. Uh, we have a music video coming out for this very song super soon, as well as the other songs on our EP. And uh, yeah, so watch out for them. Make sure to follow us. Here you're we excited. Go. Yeah. Saw, saw a little sneak peek of the uh, the music video a few months ago. Let's make sure we're in tune. Yeah, let's yeah. tune up. It's not important. Yeah, <laughs> true. We're, real real musicians don't tune. Like, what? <laughs> Instruments in tune are very overrated. We're to to um Mac DeMarco. Real, real musicians don't pee either. Yeah, it's true. Yep. <laughs> can, I ask, can, I, can I ask where, where that came from? Or don't, no. Is there, is there any backstory to this? You're obviously not a musician. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I can play like two songs on the guitar, and I can play the Office theme song on the piano. So oh I've got God. something going for me. Hot dog. Yeah, you can play Take It. Or, I taught you how to play Take It or Leave It by KJ Elfin. I think. The, well, you guys tune up. Let's it. do another. You question. did. I wasn't sober. Yeah, let's do another question. Uh, one more question before we start. Um, right. let's find a good one. I'm, uh, oh, I really want to find <laughs> a bad one real quick. One. Hold up. There's got to be a bad I one. Got, I got it. Okay, here we go. Will you guys continue THP Updates? Okay, so we have Ooh. this YouTube show, and uh, it's called THP Updates, and we do it once uh, a Friday, but we've been uh, on a hiatus for that while we work on some, uh, some management stuff. And uh, yes, THP Updates will be returning. Uh, it's a matter of time, and uh, yeah, we'd like to get a we'd like to get a bigger uh, crowd to watch them. Agreed. So that's a that's a big that's a big thing. We'd like to get a lot of views on that. So uh, I'll tweet out the link to their YouTube link for that one. We can you can go back check yeah. check out the archive, such and such. Perfect. So, All right, we got one going. song. This is Basic Girl. Inside a simple girl is 
is hard to find So much more than meets the eye party <laughs> when's that ep coming out that would be cool it's a good question i love acoustic <laughs> if you listen to our actual ep a lot then maybe that will happen true uh, it's good. yeah we right, gotta man. incorporate in like the name like hollow like acoustic or something uh, like that. Uh, i just thought of that that's body. awesome thank you thank you the hollow body well ruthless it. Who, um, Savage. Someone we saw, Manchester Orchestra, to get their fire. Oh my so god, that was awesome. Third they, row. They had, their, uh, they had their album Cope, and they released an acoustic album called yeah, Cope. Hope, Hope. And I'm like, that's like some it. creativeness right there. Fan. They're so good. I, I like, like the acoustic version of Top Notch. Top like, Notch other than that, was something I don't really else. Like I, did not, I did not think it was... When I heard they were releasing it, I didn't think it was going to be like... How can it's you, a grindy song. How can you convert a song like that to an acoustic? And they just <coughs> keep, that whole album is so relaxing to listen to. Really? Shake It Off was not so good acoustic, I gotta say. That song is just made to be electric. Especially his screamy yeah. parts. Like, it's so weird. Like I can see what you mean, but it's like it blows my mind how they can like take something like um Top Notch. Thank you. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> brain brain are great, guys. <laughs> happens happens frequently, happens often, happens to Noli. It's fun. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're going to be seeing a music video for that one, uh, for Basic Girl. Uh, I think we're going to see it before the new year, after the new year. Uh, we have no way to tell so far. We're, uh, we're just waiting on the management. It's going to be after the new year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. most we're just, likely. We're just trying to find a good place uh, to put it so that we can get a lot of people to see it. Because we think uh, if we can get it out to a good audience, people are really going to like it. The video itself is awesome, though. It was really fun to make. So, we got to choose like six of our best friends to be in it, so that's cool. I saw a, lot of pre I saw a couple of previews for it from Andrew over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Few few months few few months ago around Wait September or so, good stuff. I'm very, I'm, I, I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it, and I'm not a and I'm not one that like frequents music videos, and I enjoyed it. Yeah, so I think you. I think you got something going there. Awesome. Can, can we get can we get a little hint on what the, the theme is of the music hmm. video? Well, I think they've seen enough screenshots to know that it's a game show. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And a so. roof. <laughs> and a, a game and show. The roof in the middle of Scranton, hey, hey, Pennsylvania. The roof, the roof is the greatest part. So. Yeah, it's it's part is the roof on fire though? That's the real question. No, just a the lot. The roof doesn't of... need to be on fire. Am I the it all, it almost like... crumbled underneath our feet. That's yeah. an interesting story. I like kind of hate myself for just saying the roof was on fire, but we're gonna get. It's we're okay. just gonna move oh, past it's, that. It's okay. You said that. In fact, I tried to. In fact, I already tried to in the the thirty seconds since you've said it. 
But anyway, if you like us and you don't want to wait, definitely come see us January 16th at on Saturday at Sound, Baltimore Soundstage. We've got tickets. Once again, DM us on any social media and deliver them to you. Doors at 7 o'clock. Even if you don't like us, just come anyway. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll Heckle us. Friend. Are we are we headlining this show? We are. I know I know you guys have been, have been opening for a few. You've been playing a few uh few different kind of not not a festival was like mul- like multiple bands come and play. Yeah, yeah. You're headlining this one. Yeah, yeah, our first our first headline show was back in August on August 22nd. We uh, headlined Ram's Head. And first yeah. is Hollow Party. First is the Hollow Party. Yeah. And now this will be how did that, next. How did that go? First show headlining new band uh, venue like Ram's so Head. That's fun, a good man. venue to was, play at. Oh my god. It was actually sweet. We had like I think they said something like 600 people, 650 people between all the bands, and we had like 300, 400 of them or yeah. something. Take so, mine with Ram said 650 people is a ton of people. Like that's yeah. not a big, that's not a huge like 650 people packing into that venue is a packed venue. Yeah, it still it looks packed. Floor, yeah, the floor was pretty packed. And the yeah. management told us afterward that that is way more people than most touring bands ever bring. Yeah, so, yeah. so I mean it was and it sign was sign of fun. good things to come. We had people singing along, people dancing. It was we we premiered the music video actually before our set there. Oh and, really? Yeah, so and there, the best the best like feeling at least for me of that show this is like my biggest takeaway other than obviously performing was um hearing people like sing along to the song. Like to the music video yeah, and seeing the reaction. They, when did it get re- when did it get released? The song. The song got released in like early June. Yeah. Like so right it, out so of school. Been, so people have been listening. People so like okay. people can digest it. Yeah. Yeah. It's so it's, it settled in. It got that hype factor in. Yeah. But and we I dropped mean, the music video like it was nothing. I'm hoping <laughs> I'm hoping for some more mosh pits. Oh yeah. Uh oh. More mosh. Yeah. Pits. You just wanna you just wanna take a boogie board and and ride on their heads. Yes. I I saw or this mass- young girl's a rap. I saw Streetlight Manifesto at the 9:30 club when I was in. I was there. Eighth grade. Yeah, I was we we all were there. Yeah. And, uh, the <laughs> opening you lost band, a tooth on yeah. <laughs> The reason I have dental, like, thousands of dollars in dental, like, loans. <laughs> it, well, they're awesome anyway. But this opening band, they were great. They were like this sort of punk band. And the guitarist, one of the rhythm guitarists was like, I don't play on this song, guys. So I brought my boogie board, and he <laughs> jumped into the crowd with a boogie board. <laughs> That's And incredible. started riding around and got, like, back to the stage. With his boogie board, and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. So that is my life goal to do that. I, I know Andrew was. Were any of you? Were any of you guys at uh, Firefly this year? Yeah. Yeah. Did you? All, did you? Um, you all went. Did you except see? Except for Danny, he had track. So we all went to band except for Danny. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's when Danny left the band. I already bought my ticket for this year. So <laughs> did you? Death Cab for, was playing, and I was like, that's that that was spent three hundred dollars. Did you cat? Did you see? Yeah, I see you did it. Did you see the uh, the lobster guy that came around? Like he had like a giant turtle and a giant yeah, lobster, yeah, yeah. and he crowd. I saw him in like six different shows. He was killing it at the Kooks. That was the one I remember specifically. He us. rode around the whole crowd like three times on this giant inflatable lobster crowd surfing. That is, that's a dream. That's what I want to do with my life. <laughs> no. Uh, so looks like we're gonna have to wrap things up here here on the Indie Mix. I'd like to thank the Hollow Party for coming on for our little. Little semester finale. Going to be coming back with the indie mix in early February. Thank you, fellas. Thank, thank you, Manoli. Really have us thank back. Thank you. Thank you for. Uh, oh my God, you're, de- you're definitely coming back next semester. Going to be having, hopefully, getting Modern Nomad back on here. Both okay. having new releases in the new year, so there's going to be an It'd exciting be cool 20, them, 2016. Let's get them both on here. Let's get a cram in this little studio. Why not? <laughs> yeah. Get some dual performances more going. I'm all about it. Hopefully, yeah. we'll be. Hopefully, you all be uh, tuning into your favorite light, uh, olive skin host in uh, early February of 2016. Hope you all have a phenomenal rest of your day. Hope finals are going well. Um, yeah, see you in 2016, everyone. This is the Indie Mix. This is the Indie Mix. This is the Indie Mix. This is the Indie Mix.